Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy D Lord, and welcome back to another episode of our Kentucky Wildcat NCAA 14 Dynasty Mode series. Now, we did finish season one in an unfortunate bowl game loss to Coastal Carolina, which means we finished six and seven for season number one. Three and oh against rivals, 0 oh and three against the top 25. That's somewhat to be expected. And like I said, the bowl loss, although we did improve technically. Um, based off of this game, 2-10 in 2012, 6-7 in 2013. We need to get, you know, a little bit. They want eight wins per season, so we definitely need to do a little bit better, but we do have a long-term deal, so I don't think anything is going to happen. Now, in terms of coaching carousel, we're not going anywhere, so we're just going to go ahead and jump straight to the uh, the next stage, but we will do the entire offseason in this video. All right, guys, so at the players leaving section, man, we're seeing who's coming and who is going, going and we have... Quite a few surprises, man. First, we're going to go ahead and take a look look at the players who are graduating. So, of course, Terry Wilson, Scary Terry, he is gone. He would not be going to the league, though, just a graduation. Kelvin Joseph, he is leaving as well. So, a couple of guys that we definitely did enjoy playing with. Luke Fortner is going to be leaving as well. So, is Jamar Watson. Definitely made some plays for us. We're going to lose Max Duffy. Uh, probably one of the best punters in the league. Brandon Eccles had a solid year for us. Sawyer Smith did get some action. Um, and then A.J. Rose, he is gone as well. So was Bohana. So we're losing quite a few people. Um, and we have some guys looking to go to the league, man. So Chris Rodriguez, he's looking to go. He's projected as a third-round guy. Just remember, he is he had 1,000 yards rushing. His only issue, man, he is so good at everything, is that 77 speed he is playing with. We are going to try to talk him back because we would love to have him back. So we're going to tell him, don't, hey, man, come get your degree. All right, he's still uncertain there. I mean, he got to be a second-round pick. He has to improve. So we'll go second-round pick, and there we go. Tell him he's going to be a second-round pick, and Chris Rodriguez is going to return. Now, looking at a right guard in R.J. Adams, we definitely use, you know, a 74 uh, overall true freshman. So he's trying to go to Western Kentucky. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many games he'll be able to play. Let's see if we could – can we pull up the depth chart at this stage? Uh, I don't think we can. We can't. So, um, I don't know if I want to promise him that he's going to play. So, we might have to let him bounce, man. We might have to let him leave there. Um, of course, we're going to lose Drake Jackson. He can't be persuaded. He's gone. He's going to be a third-round pick, projected at least. Left tackle, same thing. We can't do anything about those guys. We're going to let RJ Adams bounce. It said... Uh, very low persuasion chance anyway. Hopefully, it doesn't come back to bite us. Um, but we'll see if we get any transfers. All right, so transfer request. <laughs> not one. Not one guy wants to come here. So, that's kind of disappointing, man. But Jackson did go in the third round. Um, then Young did go in the sixth round. So, we did have two Wildcats go in the draft this year. So, we'll take that. All right, guys. So, this is what we're going to go with for the offseason recruiting, man. We're going to try to go get Paul Hicks. He is a defensive end that I definitely think we could use a little bit on the small side, but a 5'11", 246. He still has a lot of stuff that we do, like with the 76 speed. The block shedding solid. The power moves is okay. Finesse moves is okay, man. Uh, Marcus Johnson is another guy we're going to try to get at the strong safety spots. We're going to give him 2,000 points. Hopefully, we can try to bring him in. Has that 90 speed at that strong safety position. I definitely like that a lot. A little low on the hit power, but I think we're fine um, with that. Russell Kennedy is a cornerback that if we can land, I would definitely love it. 90 speed corner with the good man and zone coverage. That would definitely help us out a lot. John Robertson, not going to put a lot of points at all towards him. To see if we can try to land another running back, but it's not really that much of an emphasis, especially since Chris Rodriguez will be coming back. Um, we got Mays there. Um, Jeff Mays, we'll see if we can land him. Robbie Neal. So basically just a couple, couple of players we're going after. I'm not sure who we're going to be able to land at all, man. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to advance the signing day. We're going to hope that we can land one of these guys. Hopefully, you know, we can have, I'm mean, really a three-star uh, prestige teams. Hopefully we can land, you know, maybe a top 50, um, top 40 recruiting class. We'll see how everything ends up um, playing out, man. But we'll come back once it's done simulating. All right, so perfect. We got a couple of guys. Paul Hicks, he did commit to us. We did lose on Marquise Johnson, the strong safety to Purdue of all teams. But we did get a corner back there. Um, and we did get Mays. And we got another defensive event. So I think we did okay. Let's go take a look at everybody um, and see exactly where we 
see exactly where we were in the top classes where we ended up 42 so not top 40 definitely top 50 there like i said three um, star prestige we did get out recruit by a couple of two star programs so um we definitely want to fix that but three four stars 10 three star guys man let's go ahead and take a look at our guys quickly um so okay so these are the main guys we got paul hicks Oh, uh, like I said, we missed out on Johnson, but we did get Kennedy. He's 6'1". He has the size. He has the speed. He could definitely be a, a playmaker for us for sure, man. Um, Mays could be a guy who could potentially develop into something. Uh, Mike Davis there. Missed out a few more of the guys, man, than the guys we signed in the regular season. Matt Walker, definitely more of a project guy, but he is 6'3", 231, so I definitely like his size there. Um, the main guys that I'm in love with, man, um, Mendoza, he is a Juco, so he's not going to be around long, but he's an 80 overall. He's going to be one of our best receivers. Um, we got a guard, offensive lineman. We got a backup quarterback in Kenneth Johnson. He might catch this red shirt because we do have some other people in front of him, mainly Joey Gatewood, who's going to probably be our starter this upcoming season. Um, we got another center, and then obviously we got our kicker and we got our punters, man. So what we're going to end up doing, which I will make probably a dedicated video. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it at the end of this video. Um, I'm going to let you guys, you know, put in your guys' bids or whatever to try to, you know, change these guys' names to your name, man. But um, we'll address that maybe potentially in another video or at the end of this video, man. But top 40 or top 50 recruiting class, not bad, man. All right, position changes. To see where we're at, we did not recruit any athletes. Yeah, we did not recruit any athletes, so nobody did, did change there. But you have uh, Joey Gatewood. Um, we got Allen, and then obviously we got the freshman and Kenneth Johnson. Like I said, probably we catch the red shirt, um, but we do have red shirt uh, uh, sophomore Joey Gatewood, man, who 81 throw power, 81 accuracy. I think he's going to be. I think he's going to be solid for us definitely. Uh, running back position. Chris Rodriguez coming back. Nobody to really change here. Uh, at the fullback spot, I don't think we have a fullback. We don't. We don't really need one. Receiver spot, there we go. Like I said, Mendoza is going to be one of our top guys there. Uh, but we really, I mean, he's probably going to be our best guy because he has that speed. Uh, we do have Matt Walker with that 90 speed, but so many players in front of him. He's not He's not going to get in the game uh, for quite, quite some time, man. Uh, we got Justin Rigg. Uh, at the tight end spot, nothing crazy there. I don't really think, I guess if we have a position to change, it would definitely be the offensive line probably. Let's take a look here. I like my pass blocking tackles to be on the left, my run blocking tackles to be on the right. Um, here we go. So pass blocking and at an 80, you'll probably be able to stay there unless somebody on the right is just that much better. Let's look at what Kennard is. Uh, 90, but he's also such a good running um, run blocker. So I think we'll keep it We'll keep it the way it is there. Um, the left guard position, I don't think, let's look at my guards. Nothing really changed. I think we're fine. When it comes to positions and position changes, I really think, I really think we are fine. Uh, just quickly looking. Yeah, nobody I think we got to change positions to. So we're going to go ahead and go to uh, training camp results. See how these guys improved. If they did improve very much, uh, might be able to. Go, might be able to go quickly. Might not even have to leave or cut. Here we go. So we're already at Wyoming. Yeah, we're, we're right to it. It definitely loads a lot faster on PC, man. So training results. Let's see where where we improved, man. So there we go. Oh, plus five from Joey Gatewood. I definitely want to take that. A sophomore, eighty-seven overall. Let's see where his throw power and accuracy. Throw power went up one, but accuracy went up three. So eighty-eight, eighty-four sophomore guy he could potentially leave after a year but i doubt it i like that a lot chris rodriguez got a plus one speed thank you so 78 speed now you know we're we're getting there 98 overall he's definitely gone after this year there's no way he comes back for a retro senior season 99 break tackle 84 trucking his even his elusiveness is everything that you want besides the speed he has that speed is definitely gonna gonna kill him man even tisdale Upgrading his speed up to a 92 speed. So our running backs definitely did work. Our receivers, they Allen Daly, who had a couple of good games for us, very slow, only 81 speed. Uh, he got an improvement. Josh Ali, probably our best guy last year. He gets an improvement. Um, only 77 catching now, but Daly going up to a 90 catching. I love that a lot. 
So, I mean, our receivers are getting better. I'm um, still not the greatest receiving core in the world. I don't think nobody's going to mistake in that, but definitely getting a lot better there. Uh, comes to our linemen. Can we get pass block? Plus uh, three to the pass blocking. So, John Young will definitely hold it down on the left side. Rusher, freshman. I'm excited for him. Um, left guard. I mean, everybody's really progressing. 99 overall right tackle now. Um, Pascal now going to be at a 90 overall. Very good, man. Uh, let's see. Our two defensive tackles are okay. Then we have square. Our corners. Our corners got better. Thank you. We definitely needed uh, some more cornerback help. I would say this offseason, man. So, offseason, not, not looking bad, man. Not looking bad at all. Uh, I think... I think we have a solid we have a solid team. Now, who do we have to cut? Cut day if we have to make any cuts. We are fine, so we don't have to ruin any kids' dreams. Everybody can stay on the team. Uh, that's good for these people, man. I don't like I don't want to you know crush people's dreams, man. We're not going to do anything with conference uh, custom conferences. We're going to just advance straight to the preseason. So we'll be able to see you know if there's any new guys coming in then we'll see the red shirts and once you guys see the red shirts then i will allow you guys to look at the freshmen and decide who you want to you know try to have your name as um when it comes to this class all right guys so this is how you guys can enter to have your name into this recruiting class man so i'm going to show you guys who's going to get registered who's not going to get registered possibly show you guys who could actually get playing time? Because I know you guys might not want a player who's probably not going to play for us, man. Then all you have to do is go down in the comment section below, say the position and the player name that you would like to be entered um, to have his name, and then just let me know skin tone. I think it's light, medium, or dark, and then I'll just randomize the face and all that good stuff, man. And that's that's it. We're gonna keep it nice and simple, not too much um in customization. We definitely wanna you know get the season started as quickly as possible, man. So obviously the first first guy. Kenneth Johnson, quarterback. We are not going to redshirt him. We are going to allow him to be truly the third string quarterback coming into the season. Maybe we could try to get him involved in certain packages, but don't expect him to play a whole lot. He does have that 83 speed. It's quicker than, you know, your Bo Allen and Joey Gatewood. But Gatewood is definitely going to be the quarterback. So um, Kenneth Johnson is a possibility. We don't have any running backs. Uh, we do have some options at wide receivers so we have manuel mendoza who is a junior remember that he is a juco so if you want him just know he's only going to be here two seasons man but he is an 80 overall and i fully plan on making him our number two wide receiver so i'll move him up ahead of ali keep ali in the slot and have mendoza as the number two wide receiver uh, we also have another option in matt walker at receiver you see already he's red he is going to catch the red shirt i don't ever really see him you know being in the mix of a potential starter for us we'll see if anything crazy happens but um one guy who will play is uh, mendoza this year for sure we don't have any tight ends um, but we do have a center we do have a backup center he will not play this year that's going to be quentin wilson we are not going to red shirt mcpherson um, because if any injuries happen, we are cool with, with McPherson coming in and playing. So that is an option for you if you want to be a center for us. Um, when it comes to right guard, you have an option right here. Same scenario. Not going to get the red shirt. He will be a backup, but maybe he could be the guy moving forward. Um, no right tackles. We do have a left end. Now, what we're going to do with Paul Hicks is he will be a starter on the defense of line. So the worst left end right here, but we wanted a little bit more speed at defensive end so you have pascal with the 78 speed hicks with the 76 speed when you go to right in not as good as ribaka or ribaka i don't know if i'm saying it right at all but 65 speed so that's why we are going to go ahead and we are going to play paul hicks as a true freshman at right end we have another end and mike davis another situation where i don't think he's really going to play more just here to fill out the roster for us uh we do have a couple of well really one freshman defense tackle i think this guy was a walk-on man um and jeff mays he's not going to play this year maybe he plays next season depending on if we're able to bring in a better defensive tackle or not but that is definitely an option for you there um at left outside linebacker and lucas lawrence another guy who's more just fill out the roster type of player uh we don't have any middle linebackers Right outside linebacker, I don't think nobody wants him, so we're going to move on. Freshman corners, we do have two. Russell Kennedy, Lewis Brown, 
none of them are going to play this season we'll see how things work out now they do have some rush refreshment ahead of them i do like the 90 speed of kennedy really even the 91 speed of brown but i'm not sure if we'll be able to find another one um, to replace them that could potentially be better but th th that is an option if you want to take over russell kennedy definitely let me know um safeties i don't think we got any no we did not get any safeties if you do want to be a kicker or a punter we did get a kicker and rob morton doesn't have crazy kick power like at all but i'm not going to recruit another kicker he's going to be a kicker for a while 74 kick power so he's going to be there at least for like two seasons uh we did did get a punter in jason spence and i think he has really good uh solid not really good 83 kick powers but pretty good kick power we're going to roll with him those are going to be our two guys so like i said let me know in the comment section below um the pos the position and the name of the player plus let me know the skin tone and i will you know randomize the rest man but i think that's where we're going to end this episode just so we could try to get that out give you guys time to be able to change you know uh let me know who you guys want so i can make the name changes and then i'll set up the recruiting board and we'll start the next season man all of that will be in the next episode but as usual man i hope you guys did enjoy the video hopefully you guys are still enjoying the series if you are please do me a favor and go ahead and leave this video a like man that helps me out a lot and subscribe if you haven't already it's your boy d lloyd i'm gonna see y'all next time peace